Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a short proof of a really important integration formula for all of calculus two. Now, a basic result from your Calc 1 course, the derivative of inverse tangent is one over x squared plus one. You can reverse that as now an antiderivative statement. Your antiderivative for one over x squared plus one comes out to be inverse tangent. Now, our integral here, one over x squared plus a squared, looks really similar to that, but there, there's a one. So how do we make use of that here? Well, let's make that a one there. Let's factor a squared out. So I'll write this. In the denominator, I'm factoring out a squared. x squared, in order to correctly multiply that back, that'll come out to be x squared over a squared. Notice if you distribute that back in, the a squareds cancel, leaving you with x squared, which is okay. And we factored out a squared, so we're left with one. All right, I'm gonna do two things. I can pull this constant a squared in the denominator out front as one over a squared. And since we have x squared divided by a squared, I can write that as the quantity x divided by a all squared. All right, and that is plus one. And now this looks a little bit closer to our basic antiderivative statement there. We have the one, but not x squared, but rather x over a squared. Notice now we have a set of parentheses. What's inside the parentheses, the inner function might be a good choice for a substitution. So let's try u as x divided by a. And if that's easier to differentiate, think of that as one over a times x. So when you differentiate x, you'll get one. Du here just comes out to one over a times dx. All right, now since we have in our integral here, no factor of a, you can kind of bring some of those back in if you want to, but let's rewrite dx as a du equals dx, and we should be able to convert everything. We have our one over a squared factor. All right, and that's gonna multiply the integral here. We have a factor of a, and then times one over u squared plus one du. And that now is exactly this basic antiderivative, but written with u as the variable rather than x. So when you go ahead and integrate this, we have one over a squared times a. That's gonna become not inverse tangent of x, but inverse tangent of u. All right, if you just cancel out your factors of a there, you're left with one over a times inverse tangent of u, and we're gonna back substitute u as x over a. So we get inverse tangent of x over a plus c. And again, this is an extremely important integration formula especially once you get to the technique of integrating called partial fraction decomposition. So just to state it here, your basic function that you're integrating, one over x squared plus a squared, we get our antiderivative one over a times inverse tangent of x over a. And that is an incredibly useful formula. It allows you to find some basic antiderivatives really quickly here. If we just go through one example, let's say we have the integral of one over x squared plus nine. 
think of 9 as 3 squared. So the value for a that we're going to be using in this formula is 3. And we just plug that in. We get 1 over 3 times inverse tangent of x over 3. So 1 third inverse tangent of x over 3. And again, that'll be really quick to apply once you get to partial fraction decomposition. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe.